So hey y'all, it's me, your bitch. And I'm back with a brand new motherfucking video. Okay, so hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's me, your bitch. Let's make a Christmas vlog. But I didn't really like the way it came out, so it is what it is. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of a different video. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna be getting ready, but I'm gonna also talk to you guys about this one time. How I literally walked out on a date last year. Midday, I walked out. <laughs> So I think first, let's talk about how I met this guy. I went up a black because my friend was like, yeah, there's some guys on there. Like, because I just was like trying to get over um, my relationship at the time. Not my relationship because we weren't really together. I don't really know. It's weird. So basically, I was trying to get over this guy. My friend's like, girl, there's this app that you should try. And I was like, okay, um, what is it? And she's just like, this app called Black or whatever. I was like, okay, I'll download it. Cause like, I hated Tinder. I hate Tinder, hated that shit. So I was like, okay, let me try it. So I tried it, guys that were kind of more like my type or whatever. So this guy hit me up. He didn't really look like my type in the video. I mean, in the picture, I mean, in his pictures. But my friends like Samara are like, you need to try something different from what your type is. Because obviously your type's not working for you. So I was like, okay, fine. He just texted me, he was like, hey, like, how you doing? Da, da, da. Like, the usual small talk, whatever. And then, so I responded and I was like, I'm good, yada, yada. Like, he's like, oh, hey, like, I'm really trying to get to, like, see you today. I don't know, he was, like, really, like, just wanted to see me that same night. And I was like, well, okay. And he was like, okay, well, we can go to the movies or whatever. But I wasn't really, like into going to the movies at the time. I feel like the movies is like a date where if you already know the person, then y'all can go on a movie date. And my friend at the time, she's like, no, tomorrow I don't do the movie date. She was like, you need to go somewhere public where if something happens, um, like nothing can happen, like a restaurant or something. And like movie dates are like so fucking high school, right? <laughs> like I'm a grown ass woman like take me out on a fucking date right so I'm like well to be honest with you I'm not really feeling the movie date I was like can we do something else and he was like yeah sure so I was like okay let's go out to eat at Earl's and I don't know like if they have Earl's like other places but it's like a cute little spot like to drink I'm like like they don't have like meals they're kind of like more like appetizers and like you just sit and talk and you get to talk to people. Like I always go with my with my girlfriends to Earl's. Earl's is like a chill spot and it's not expensive at all. Okay. I chose a spot where it's pretty chill. And I'm like, okay, well, like cheap, decent prices and like it's affordable. Cause uh, obviously like this is our first date. I don't know this guy. And I'm just not the type to have a man like lavishly spend on me. Like that's just not who I am. So, <laughs> so long story short, he's like, okay, whatever. I'll meet you there. And I'm like, okay, work. So I go home, I go get ready. I get mad cute, mad dolled up. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of what I look like. Cause I look mad fucking cute that night. Okay. <laughs> That's what I wore. I look so fucking cute. Like, no bullshit. I look mad cute. My friend was like, oh my god, Tori, you look so cute. Like, I get me on and shit. And I was like, okay, where? Like, I'm ready to go on this date. <laughs> Y'all, so I got there. I guess I don't know how he got there, but he like kept hitting me up. Like, where are you? And I lived in Salem at the time. So I lived a little bit further away from Earl's. And I don't know how he got there, but I feel like he got there like on the train um but like that wasn't discussed but it was just like 
weird so when i got there like when he got there before me like a few minutes before me and he kept asking me like where i am where i am and i'm like well i'm like i'm like pulling up i'm almost there i'll be there in five minutes yada yada all this stuff so i finally get there and um he's like where'd you park yada yada all this stuff i'm like i'm looking for parking because in assembly it's like really fucking hard to find parking so he's like okay well i'm already here he's like i'm waiting so i parked like kind of like near where the train station was because that was like the only place where i was parking and it wasn't like too far of a walk from earl so it's like okay and i told him i was there so then i see this guy i should have not wore a turtle neck to do my makeup like that was so dumb um walking over towards my car like literally out of nowhere he just like all of a sudden just showed up at my window and i was like what the fuck i was scared um, i don't know how he knew that was me but he knew it was me like in my car shit i was like okay i was like i'll be out in a second just wait whatever so um i just grabbed my stuff like my wallet and um my keys and like get out the car and like from the minute i saw him he didn't even look like he did his pictures like you could tell he used a lot of filters and i mean like it wasn't bad like he wasn't ugly well yeah to me he was ugly i'm sorry like he was not my type like but he was not like an ugly guy he didn't look manly enough to be my man if that makes sense um i like men that look like very manly not girl like like a baby face i'm not really into the whole baby face thing like it's just not my type type of man so whatever so long story short um i get out the car and we're like walking towards the restaurant we're talking we're having a conversation and he's just asking me like little shit like how was your day yada yada all that stuff like and it wasn't bad like i was like okay like you know he doesn't seem too bad let me just see what the fuck this like let me just just go on this day and see what happens because you never know tomorrow because your type is just not it obviously um niggas is having babies on you and all that shit so tomorrow let's see what's up so i was like okay tomorrow go in with um go in with light mind don't overthink this and let's just go so as we're walking to earl's because it's a little bit of a walk from where i parked like i said we we're just having a little bit of small talk he's like how's your day yada yada do you have any kids and i was like yeah i have a son i was like yeah my son's 10 he's going on 11 um his birthday's coming up in november all that cute stuff he didn't have a problem with me having a kid but he didn't have any kids that i do remember he was like yeah i just have any kids yada yada so when we get to Earl's, the girls, it's like pretty busy, which I already knew. And I was like, damn, maybe we should have like called in or like made reservations. But I don't think Earl actually does that. So that's why we ended up just walking in. Shit, what do I do next? Now I'm confused. Like this is why I can't do like talks and get ready with me. Cause like now I'm just confused. I'll come to it. Duck. So like oh hey y'all like just let you know it's like a 10 minute wait like really short wait so I was like she's like if you want to sit outside or inside outside at the time had to wait it was inside that didn't but this was like the come up the heart of the pandemic so I wanted to sit outside and it was summertime so I wanted like fresh air or whatever like I just wanted to sit outside so I was like oh I was like let's wait to sit outside and he's like okay whatever so we wait for 10 minutes like not even having a little bit of small talk whatever everything was cool there was something awkward though that happened and I just can't remember what it was I think it was us having to wait and just like really didn't know what to talk about so that was pretty awkward it was like not nah, fucking awkward but um i mean like we both kind of tried to get over it whatever and i found out that he was haitian so that even more made me like okay like he's he's my kind so i want to just see where this goes 10 minutes go by the girl's like oh hey like table's ready yada yada it really wasn't even 10 minutes like it was really shorter than that so i'm like word like because it was starting to get a little awkward we didn't know what to talk about we go to the table we sit down we start looking at the menu and stuff and 
this is where things start to get fucking really awkward okay so started asking me like what i do and stuff and i was telling him like i work out of driving school i'm a driving instructor yada yada and he told me like he works in it he's an it guy whatever and this and that and other thing so I'm like, okay word that's cool like he's on his shit and i think he told me he finished school like whatever and i was like okay word because i don't really like school so like i like tell i don't like school I'm actually a really smart person, but school just is not for me. If I don't have to go to school, I won't. <laughs> like, college is not for me. Like, if I'm not forced to go to school, I won't. And that's when I realized college really wasn't for me. Because, like, college, you don't have to go. You're not mandated to, like, make it to your classes. Like, in high school, where, like, they call your parents and you're like... But, yeah, so whenever someone tells me that they think they're into school and shit, I'm just, like, really impressed because I'm like, wow, you have a lot of self-discipline because me, I could fucking never. Um, I just, like... Like school is just not for certain people and I'm just one of those people that it's not for which I've come to realize and that's why I've never tried to go back to college even though I did a few times but anyways I'm getting off topic so yeah so I was pretty impressed with that because I'm like okay he has some self-discipline he seems like he has it together you know we're just looking at the menu and shit and then this guy's like okay he's like he's like well how are we doing this are we going to have like literally out of nowhere we're just both looking at the menu like not even talking I'm like I'm like okay Okay. like mad fucking weird okay because i didn't ask you to take me out like i didn't hit you up i was like yeah let's go let's go out like, you're gonna hit me up ask me for the movies and i was like nah like i'm not doing my fucking movie i was just like at that point i was just turned off so i texted my friend i was just like he asked me to pay pay for the date i was like i think i'm gonna leave like mind you our waiter did not come yet she, like she gave us the menus and was like off for a little bit so i was like i was like oh my head and then i had my airpod in so then i called her and then she was like are you still there i was like yeah and then she was like leave she was like but you should tell him something and i was like no <laughs> like i couldn't say exactly what i wanted to say i was like no and then the waiter came back she's like have you guys decided what you wanted he ordered actually first he like ordered a fucking martini that's when i was like nah i'm definitely out of here he ordered a fucking martini i was like what kind of nigga orders a fucking martini for a fucking drink but anyways she's like okay well i'm gonna just have to see ids and i was like word that's my fucking key you so then um she looks at me she's like do you have your id and i was like no i was like i'll actually be right back because i got I, I left my id in the car bitch i fucking zoomed the fuck out of there i fucking walked away i was still on the phone with my friend i was like i fucking left i was like, she asked for ids and i'm just like i'm just gonna dip and she's like tomorrow she's like i can't leave you did that i'm like i don't give a fuck like Fuck that nigga asking me to go half on a fucking date that he asked me out on. Like, that shit was weird. I, like, walked away. Like, I walked so fast out of that restaurant. Walked quickly to my car. I'm still on the phone with my friend. And then my friend's like, tomorrow, she's like, you gotta at least tell him, like, you left. And I was like, nah. I'm like, fuck that nigga. What the fuck? Like, I didn't ask that nigga to take me on a date. He has the nerve to sit here and ask me to go half. She's like, no, tomorrow. She's like, you have to uh, at least tell him that you left. So then, I'm like, no, I'm blocking him. So I ended up blocking him on black. But then I forgot that he actually added me on Instagram. So he actually messaged me and was like, what did you expect? I honestly just didn't respond at that point. Because I'm like fuck that like you, i'm not gonna dignify him with a fucking response you're just salty because i fucking left the date what the fuck you mean what did i expect i didn't understand what that meant like if you mean what did i expect like for you to say like let's go half i expected you know i didn't expect that because how dare you ask me on a date and then ask me to go half that makes absolutely no fucking sense so no i did not expect that so <sighs> I didn't even want to dignify him with the response. I just blocked him and then just kept it moving. So here's like the funny part of this story. So the next fucking day, my friend went to the mall to go buy a MacBook. Because she's like, she needs a MacBook for her school, yada yada. Like, that's like the only laptop that really works. Her laptop that she has currently is like, doesn't like work with the system that they're using for the school. So I was like, yeah, let's go. Like they're giving like a free, free AirPods. It's like, yeah, this is a perfect time for you to get it. She's like, do you think I should get it tomorrow? I was like, yeah, let's go. I was like, I'll go with you. So we ended up going together and so guys, so then as we're waiting, like we're about to check out, like we're, we're at this girl, she's mad cool, whatever. Telling my friend the, the MacBook, whatever. So long story short, we went to the mall, whatever, and my friend was getting the MacBook and 
we ended up seeing the fucking guy. The guy told me he worked in IT, right? But he lied. He worked as a security guard at the fucking Apple store. So I fucking see him. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, Jesse, that's, that's him. And we both started fucking dying, laughing mad loud. Mind you, if you know my laugh, my shit is fucking loud and like treacherous. So this nigga looks over and just keeps on fucking walking. <laughs> He's only embarrassed because number one, you're a fucking liar. And then two, I walked out on the date on you and I'm just laughing with my friend about it. And like, I don't know, it was just a hot mess. And then the girl's like, the girl's like, who, who? Like the girl's mad nosy. I'm like, yo, I was like, I went on a date with that guy last night. I walked out because he asked me to pay half. And she's like, girl, what? She's like, he just started working here. Like, he just started working here. He's new, um, a new security guard, whatever. I was like, oh, bet. I was like, yeah, he told me he worked in IT. She's like, the girl, he's a fucking security guard. So, yeah. So, nigga was a liar and all that shit. So, to be honest with you, I was actually kind of happy that I... So, I'm actually kind of glad that I left that, that date because it was well-deserved and well-worth it. Because he was a liar and a cheap fucking bastard. And he just started working, so that fucking makes sense why he wanted me to pay half. Because the nigga was fucking broke. So, I, I made this video to say this because it was pretty funny. Um, but I also wanted to post this and say, you guys, ladies, don't fucking settle for anything. For no fucking bullshit. If a man is fucking asking you on a date, there's no reason why you should be paying half. Like, I didn't ask you to go on a date. I didn't ask you to take me out. I didn't ask for any of that shit. And, like, at the time, like, I was like... I was tired of the same old shit. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. Because I don't have to. You're not my man. You're not anything. Like, I don't have to deal with none of this shit. Like, I'm just getting to fucking know you. So how fucking dare you ask me, my nigga, after asking me out on a date to sit here and go fucking half on you on a motherfucking date that you asked me on? Like, sit there and ask yourself if that fucking makes sense. Like, how fucking dare you? Like, that shit is, like, beyond me. Just don't fucking settle, you guys. Know your fucking worth. If you see, like, the first red flag fucking walk away because most likely that nigga is a fraud and is a liar so which i'm pretty fucking happy i didn't and it's so funny because it's like everything just like proves itself and like makes you realize like you did the right thing literally the next fucking day it wasn't like it was weeks or whatever like the next get day god showed me like this man really wasn't for you girl he was a liar <laughs> So yeah, you guys, that was that. That's my story time on how I walked out on a date and it was so fucking funny. You're a Prince Charming, you're Romeo. He will come when the time is right. Don't settle for no fucking man, especially a man that you just fucking met. There's no reason to. I gotta say a guy that like I've been with and like he's like, okay, like let's go out or I wanna go out and, and he's low. See, that's understandable. Like, okay, like boo, I got you. But a man I just met, no, you don't want to set off that impression that you are willing to, to go halves because then every single day from now on, he could expect you to go half because you already did that in the beginning. He can use them against you later and be like, well, it was fine the first time. And then it was like, yeah. Like, and you can't be like, oh no, well now it's not okay because, because it really was okay the first time. That was the first time y'all ever hung out or did something. So don't set those um, mindsets with the, these guys because they'll take that shit and they'll fucking run with it. And that's exactly why I left the date because you have some fucking nerve, you fucking bitch. I did not fucking ask you to take me out the fuck anywhere. Okay. Okay, so hey y'all, it's me. I'm back, I'm finally done getting ready. That concludes today's videos. Look at all this makeup on my shirt. Like, such a mess. Look at the fuck. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, I'm done. Your bitch is ready. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Hope y'all enjoyed my video of me talking my shit about how I walked out on a date or whatever. So yeah, that concludes that video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share my video. If y'all fucking with me, if you're not fucking with me, whatever. Still interact. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. Because yeah, as long as you're still watching. Alright, well... Hope y'all have a good night, a good weekend. 
Love y'all. Have a good night. Bye.